welcome back to my channel friends and family this video I have created with two Huda palettes the plan was using only one palette but I needed one extra color these two palette and this video is absolutely my favorite one of my favorite definitely I love um, purple color I think it's the most rich color and uh, it's not very uh, complicated so I hope you guys like it and enjoy it I just prime my face with Benefit Pro Professional, my ever every time I use this is my favorite. After the primer, I like to spray a little bit of this uh, makeup spray. I just like it because it's just moisture my face. I feel soothing. It's not part of the makeup or you don't have to do it. It just gives me a relaxed feeling. Now we are going to jump to the foundation. I'm trying a new foundation. I mean, for me new, I never used it. First time I'm using and I'm completely totally absolutely loved it loved it and this is this one too faced and um, born this way i'm gonna take uh, my foundation and this palette this is a beautiful diamond ring palette i bought it from a makeup show just for fun and apply it all over with my finger i like to use my finger because um, it warms up your foundation i think that's the way it um blends well for me now you see i'm gonna use my finger and warm off the product all over my face and of course i'm gonna give a finishing touch with my beauty blender using as usual the beauty blender After that, I'm going to bake, but it's just a one uh, application I did, one time application. But I'm pretty much happy with the uh, full coverage. And here and there, a little bit of um, imperfection we have. Everybody has. I have definitely. We will cover it up with the concealer. As I told you guys about my pigmentation, so I'm using Boeing Boeing from Benefit and I'm number four. This one, when you apply, use your finger, but do not uh, drag it, like stretches like that. Just dab it, because you don't want to move your foundation. You're just trying to cover your imperfection on your skin. As far as the concealer, I'm gonna use uh, from Tarte, the shape tape. I'm using the Tarte light, light Medium. If you guys notice from last few videos, I am not um, using a very thick, uh, from last two, three videos, I'm not using very um, thick concealer. Since uh, for my age, I have wrinkles. So I notice the more I try to hide it, the more it shows. So I'm just trying to minimize it and trying to do it as less as possible and see the perfection comes or not and i'm using a very cute mini sponge makeup beauty blender sorry i'm gonna uh, use the um laura mercier's under eye brightening powder to bake my under eye this is a very light powder and it's translucent, no color. So you actually do, uh, don't uh, lose your foundation color or concealer color. Another small tip I want to tips I want to share with you guys, which is um, about the baking. When you are baking your under eye or any area before you bake you have to see in a very magnifying mirror or go to the close to the mirror and see that you like the way it you put the concealer or the foundation wherever you want to bake I'm, I'm, I meant that so because once you bake it that's the that's there they're not gonna change anymore un, unless you wipe off your makeup and restart again so make sure that you like what you applied and then you bake it and then after that i'm gonna use the same uh, makeup beauty blender and i am using this time uh, the powder it's from cat bondi it's a translucent powder to bake all over my face i'm 
I have a very excessive dry skin so that's why I don't like to keep my powder very long I am gonna brush it out as fast as I can feel that there is no tackiness on my skin because once you have a dry skin if you put the powder quite a long time what happens it gets more um, dry look so that's what I'm doing I'm just gonna take it out with my Morphe R3 brush just only the under eye I'm keeping because I don't want any fallout when I do the eyeshadow I just uh, put the um, contouring powder on my face just to gush, uh, just to show you guys where I'm putting it and on my forehead of course here and a little bit here and I'm using BH Cosmetics 127 brush that's the brush and using the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, contour kit and I'm gonna this is just I'm using this brush only for application but I'm gonna blend it down with Again, uh, all the makeup I'm doing, all the brushes I'll use from BH Cosmetics and this is 125 brush from the same uh, company BH and their brushes are my favorite brushes also but my all time favorite is Morphe but this is also a very good company, very reasonable price and a very good brush, trust me it's very good brush see your budget friendly I, I did finish my eyebrows uh, off the camera because it takes long time but basically I use this three product this two is from benefit this is from um, my favorite NYX uh, eyebrow pen that's it and then I highlighted uh, this area with the YSL any any you can do it soft ochre also but this has got a uh, oops this is a very very old one this has got the brush so it's easier to just define the line from here that's all my eyebrow routine if you guys wanted to see my basic just the basic eyebrow routine you can check my um, previous video where I showed you guys just a quick eyebrow uh, how to do a quick eyebrows anyway so we're gonna go and start doing our eye makeup and as usual we're gonna put the um, base the soft ochre usually I use my finger to apply the soft ochre um, I think it uh, works better but you can use brush also but make sure you're using oops you're using a synthetic brush and uh, that will adhere your eyeshadow nicely and after that I'm gonna use same powder the white translucent powder from Laura Mercier just to set it a little bit. I'm using BH 129 brush to apply my transition color and I am using again my favorite Huda texture eyeshadow box. I just got it and I love that this thing. I'm taking amber as my You know sometimes people just um, it's a trend now everybody wants to every Tom Dick and Harry is making makeup makeup line like everybody so when once you're very popular you kind of think oh I'm so popular people has to buy it because like Mac they're so popular whole world universe knows them so benefit these are like big big companies and so once you're very popular in Instagram or you are you know that you're very popular you have million followers and you think okay whatever I make um, people will buy I, as I'm talking I'm just building up the color because these palette these colors are very very uh, pigmented so you just don't want to wipe off your color you just I rather play slow and then get my achieved colors so what I was saying she's so popular she's so well known in the whole universe still she did not try to do that gimmick that whatever I make people will buy so let's why the hell I'll just sweat myself but I love her I am a great fan of her I just cannot she did not try to sell her 
shadow or eyelashes just because she's popular she know everybody will buy but she just kept her name and pride and her dignity in her product that's why I salute her now I am thinking probably I have a mood of going today in purple line I'm sorry I have to use my favorite pencil brush from dose of colors I promise that I'll use one company brush I'm trying to do this trend in my every video to show different companies brush in one look I'll try but I don't get anything free or I don't get any peer packet I'm not a big youtuber so for me I have to purchase everything so I'll try now I'm gonna use my royal on the outer corner of my eyeshadow guys um, in New York today is uh, October what Danish 24th 24th it's raining pouring and so romantic I'm beside in my bedroom just beside my window and I know my son is like mama don't open the window the rain sound is gonna pop into the video but I feel so romantic when it's raining you guys probably can hear one car just passed I did play with the royal but now just to pop in I'm gonna use the twilight on I'm gonna use my finger and just pressed on the middle of my eyeball oh I'm loving it babe this is so beautiful is knocking in our door one thirty brush and I need something here very bright and I don't know this palette I don't find it the other palette let me check I need something lighter underneath my yes I think I can find from this one from this one this is another palette of hers I need something very bright yes moon dust that's what I want just more for my underneath the eyebrow to brighten it up my eyebrow bone Underneath my uh, waterline, I am using the Royal with the same uh, pencil brush from Dose of Color. And I'm gonna do the other eye of the camera so that it's a shorter video. If it is too long, people don't want to watch. Before I go back to the other eye, I'm gonna come to the camera as close as I can. And I know my son uh, can show you guys the closer version of this so that you, you can match with this one. I'm closing my eyes, looking down, and open my oh eyes. God. So this is the second eye. Before I put the eyeliner, I wanted you guys to see, and I have used both palettes. I had the um, idea to just use one, this one, but then I needed one color, so I used this one too. My favorite, favorite. Today, I'm gonna do my eyeliner. Uh, the gel eyeliner from Makeup Forever. It is now becoming my another favorite beside the 77th uh, Inglot 7. This is one of my favorite now. So you guys are gonna see another product today I'm using. Okay, I'm using uh, the uh, brush from Makeup Forever. Um, this is brush number 250. Guys, you must buy this brush. Again, they are not paying me for this dialogue. This is such a firm brush for the eyeliner. You have no idea. See how far I am from the camera. And my hands are... I'm not even wearing my glasses. I'm half blind without my glasses. Let's see how nicely it's going there. Because the brush is not too soft. 
not too harsh. So it's perfect for your inside eyeliner like coal kajal, whatever you say is coal eyeliner. And usually you're supposed to just stretch a little bit and then go the corner. And I always put on the top of my upper portion of my eyelids. So what it happens, if you close your eye like this, the consistency of blackness is not going to go anywhere because both sides has the gel eyeliner. Does it make sense? Of course it makes sense. So how you guys are doing? How many people are subscribed with my channel? Last video I saw a lot of people liked my last one because it was a little funny and very cute video if you didn't watch it go and watch it i swear you're gonna like it it's a very very cute video i loved it i'm using my blushing from this hourglass ambient palette this one as my blushing today I'm using again BH Cosmetics 126 brush to apply my blush in. Using my highlighter from the Jewel Cosmetics, it's called Rose Gold. It looks like this. Little bit of on top of my eyebrow bone and of course my top of my nose, the bridge of my nose. I'm going to eyeline my top eyeliner with Mega, um, Mega Liner from Wet n Wild. You guys already know this is one of my favorite eyeliner. So I'm going to use my all time favorite until now this um, mascara. I already applied, I just wanted to show you guys and the lower lashes also this time i'm using the same mascara i'm using nyx lip liner urban cafe and it's also on one of my favorite okay and i just forgot that the camera shut down just to separate my wings i have used that midnight cow liquid glitter just this two corner and just a tiny tiny bit here also uh, guys I'm so sorry this two I lost the sticker from here see this uh, one has the sticker the Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is the one I use any Settle um, Arti color will uh, look good with this eyeshadow or a kind of a movie color also will look good on it. I'll be back with my falsies and take out my rollers. Guys, I just uh, put the lash from Huda Lash, of course, this one. And um, that is all and put a earring. This earring is from Almeida and he is one of the biggest designer. Um, in Bangladesh last time when we, I visited my country he gave me as a gift so I had to show you guys it's a beautiful he may make himself this uh, earring so this is the complete look I hope you guys like it I loved making it and this is something I really enjoyed and I am wearing the outfit with which complements my eyeshadow it's from anthropology something like that if my pronunciation is not right forgive me and last not least this one I slay I threw out my hair <laughs> so this is the look so I hope to see you guys in my next video and thank you for loving me, watching my video, subscribe my video and give me lots of lots of love and support and love yourself and I will definitely make some interesting video for you guys. Mm.